During the Fourth Crusade, the Crusaders sacked Constantinople and dissolved the Byzantine Empire. The Latin founded states like the Latin Empire, the Kingdom of Thessalonica, Achaea, and Athens. The Venetians took a selection of islands, while the Greeks were left ruling Nicaea and Epirus. But to the north lay Bulgaria, then ruled by Kaloyan. They had achieved their independence when Ivan Hassan I and Peter II rebelled against the Byzantine Empire, and under Kaloyan, the Second Bulgarian Empire had expanded its borders. This is thanks in part to the help he received from the nomadic Cumans after marrying one of their princesses. But the Latins laid claim to towns that he occupied, so he gave shelter to the Byzantine refugees and helped stir up revolt in Adrianople. Baldwin I, the Latin Emperor, while also fighting the Nicaeans, lay siege to Adrianople, but Kaloyan arrived with tens of thousands of men in April 1205. The two sides met in battle, and Baldwin I was captured and mysteriously died in captivity. As Henry of Flanders became the new Latin Emperor, the Bulgarians pillaged Thrace and conquered towns like Philippopolis and Serres in the following years. But he failed to capture Adrianople, and he continued to massacre the inhabitants of captured cities, turning the local Greeks against the Bulgarians. Meanwhile, the Latins sent troops to aid Trebizond in their war against Theodore I of Nicaea. So Kaloyan signed an alliance with Nicaea, again trying to take Adrianople. But this allowed Boniface of Thessalonica to retake Serres, and many Cuman forces in the Bulgarian army began to abandon the cause and return home. Boniface, however, was ambushed by the Bulgarians and killed, leaving his young son Demetrius in control but Lombard noblemen began to vie for power within the city. So Henry returned from Anatolia and relieved Adrianople, but both Kaloyan and Michael of Epirus tried to exploit the weakness of Thessalonica. Kaloyan even laid siege to the city of Thessalonica, but he was betrayed and killed by a Cuman commander in October 1207. Plus, Henry was able to subdue the Lombard nobility, putting the kingdom largely under his control. Meanwhile, Kaloyan was succeeded by Borel, his nephew, but many began to move against him. Like Ivan Hassan II, the son of the leader of the rebellion, Ivan Hassan I, and he fled into exile to build up an army of mercenaries. And Borel's brother Strez fled to Serbia and with their backing invaded Macedonia. Plus another relative named Alexius Slav married the daughter of Emperor Henry, and together they beat Borel at Philippopolis in 1208, driving the Bulgarians north. But Borel managed to bring Strez over to his side by promising him autonomy and formed alliances with the Greek rulers of Nicaea and Epirus. However, these alliances were far from secure, as Michael of Epirus, who was attacking the Kingdom of Thessalonica, switched sides after Strez was defeated by the Latins in 1210. And Borel had to ask for assistance from Andrew II of Hungary to help quell a rebellion in 1211. So by now, aware that he could not retake towns in Thrace, Borel made peace with the Latin Empire, and married off his stepdaughter to Emperor Henry. Now allies, the Latins provided troops to the Bulgarians during their failed invasion of Serbia in 1214, during which Drez died. But Borel was very dependent on foreign support, so when Henry died in 1216 and Andrew II of Hungary left on crusade the following year, Borel was left in a vulnerable position. So Ivan Hassan II returned from exile in the Rus principalities with an army of mercenaries and laid siege to Borel in Tarnovo. The city fell and Borel was captured and blinded, and Ivan Hassan II became ruler of Bulgaria in 1218 and would go on to stabilize the country and would again go to war against the Latins. This video is part of a series which follows all the wars until the restoration of the Byzantine Empire, and you can find the rest of the series on the armchairhistorian.com, along with a range of other historical videos from other YouTube historians. So you can check out all of these exclusive videos by signing up to get your free one month trial, and if you use the promo code JABSY100, you will get an additional 30 days free on top of that.